a Pixel can't stop leaking. We pretty much know everything there is to know about a Pixel 3 as well as the Pixel 3 XL. We, we, we have a very clear image now of this Pixel 3. You know pretty much everything about it. No matter how hard you try, you literally can't get anything past the internet. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you've joined us. We're shaking things up a little bit with a new venue, some new faces in a new city. Special welcome to our friends in the media. We've also invited some of our top sales associates from Verizon and TELUS. Welcome. Yeah, that's right. For you out of towners, thanks so much for coming here to New York City to be with us. So this year marks Google's 20th anniversary. And for two decades, we've been working towards our mission of helping to organize the world's information, make it more accessible and helpful for everybody. Delivering information has always been in our DNA. It's why we exist. We love working on really hard problems that make life easier for people in big and small ways. And I wanted to tell you a couple stories about what I mean about this. So even after two decades, we're constantly working to shave as many milliseconds as possible off of our search times. That focus has caused us to push into a bunch of new areas. We designed our, new, our own servers. We designed an operating system to run our data centers. All of this so you could find search results faster. But if we're really going to help people, we need to make sure we provide the most relevant search results. And we can only do that if we know what people are asking for. So we set out to understand the nuances of language and the intent behind the words. As we progressed on that, we realized that we could help with translation too. That's led us down a path of developing completely new technologies, software, hardware, and the AI that underlies it all. And now, we're translating 143 billion words every day in more than 100 languages. And now more people can say what they want to say to each other. Beautiful, hello, thank you. These are three of the most requested words in every language. And with speech recognition, as good as it is, we can roll out voice interactions across our hardware devices so your devices understand you when you talk to them. We can lessen the pain of responding to emails by suggesting quick responses. And Smart Compose in Gmail even op offers to finish your sentences as you type. It can suggest relevant contextual phrases and cut back on repetitive typing, like addresses. Smart Compose is already saving people a billion characters of typing each week. And it's coming to mobile first with Pixel. So with our improvements in language, the Google Assistant is much better at getting things done for you, like booking a restaurant reservation over the phone. That's our duplex technology you saw earlier this year. These incredible technologies you'll hear about today are built on this 20-year history of making information more accessible and helpful for people. This is also true of our work in imaging. Many of you in this room say last year's Pixel 2 still takes the best pictures, even in a year with so many amazing flagship phones. That's not a fluke. Pixel's camera completely rethinks how images are captured, and we can trace that intelligence directly back to Google search. We noticed very early on that people were using Google to search for images, even though our results weren't perfect back then because we were looking at meta tags, we were looking at surrounding text, and that was just really a workaround. But what we really needed to do was look at the images themselves. So we spent years researching computer vision technologies, analyzing hundreds of millions of photos, and now we're getting better all the time at recognizing objects and faces and even concepts within an image or a scene. And we have all kinds of ways to put this technology to work for you. Like right now, you can search through your photo library so pictures are accessible wherever you are without any work from you. 
and we can help take a stunning portrait photo, just like you would with a DSLR. And we can smooth out shakiness in your videos. You can also point your camera at a movie poster, get local theater listings, maybe even look up an actor's bio. And we've invented a new type of camera, put it on a fleet of cars, and then drove those cars all over the world to give you a detailed map of the world. So from searching, to translating, to getting a great photo of the world, when we see an opportunity to help people, we go the extra mile. Our deep investment in AI over many years is at the core of our ability to push forward in many areas at once. And you're gonna see this in a lot of our products today. I say this every year, but the big breakthroughs you're gonna see are not in hardware alone. They come at the intersection of AI, software, and hardware working together. This approach is what makes Google's hardware experience so unique, and it unlocks all kinds of helpful benefits. When we think about artificial intelligence in a consumer hardware context, it isn't artificial at all. It's helping you get real things done every day. A shorter route to work, a gorgeous vacation photo, a more efficient home. Our guiding principle here is exactly the same as it's been for 20 years, to respect our users and to put them first. And that guides our work in three very specific ways. First, we want to respect each user as an individual and provide them with their own personal Google. Just as Google is organizing the world's information, we can combine AI software and hardware to organize your information. Your experience and the help we provide you is unique to you. The Google Assistant is the best expression of this, and it's always available to help provide help when and where you need it. Second, we're committed to the security of our users. We need to offer simple, powerful ways to safeguard your devices. One way we do this is at the OS level. Google Play Protect is the most widely deployed mobile threat protection service in the world, and it constantly works in the background to keep your devices and data safe. We've also integrated Titan Security, the system we built for Google data centers, into our mobile devices with a new dedicated chip. Titan Security protects your most sensitive on-device data by securing your lock screen and strengthening disk encryption. And it also even protects the integrity of the operating system itself. By combining Titan Security both in the data center and on device, we've created a closed loop for your data across the Google ecosystem. We know people want to hear a lot about this, so you'll be hearing more about it throughout the day. A vital third theme of ours we want to make sure that you're in control of your digital well-being. From our research, 72% of users are concerned about the amount of time they spend using tech, and we absolutely share that concern. So we've developed new tools that let you control your devices instead of those devices controlling you. We're introducing new, simple ways to cut down on notifications and distractions. We can help you understand the amount of time you're spending with different applications and set app limits so you can switch them off when you want to. And we're providing parents with simple controls over screen time with the family. We feel a deep responsibility to our users to provide a helpful, personal Google experience while keeping their information secure and making sure they're in control of their digital well-being. These things really matter to our users and it shows in their response to our products. The, the enthusiasm has been absolutely great this year. Our Google Home devices are expanding into more countries and more homes. Our daily active users have grown by 5x in the past year alone. And test after test concludes that Google Home is the most accurate and most helpful home assistant device. It does the best job of filtering out background noises and understanding different people's voices. And it now offers help in multilingual homes. Pixelbook has had a huge year as well. 
The Verge said, Pixelbook is stellar. It's elegant, sturdy, fast, and smartly designed. And both Pixelbook owners and a lot of you tech reviewers gave it the edge over other premium laptops for its speedy performance and innovative design. And we're just getting started here. And what a year for Pixel 2. A couple months ago, Wired named it the best smartphone money can buy in 2018. That's as good as it gets, especially in a year with so many great smart flagship phones. Plus, the Pixel experience keeps getting better over time as we've rolled out a number of helpful updates. The UI is improved, the colors are deeper, the phone is just all around more helpful than when it first came out. We're really proud of the progress we've made across the whole made by Google family, but you probably don't want to hear too much more about last year's products. So let's talk about what we've been working on. So first, for life on the go, we designed the world's best camera and put it in the world's most helpful phone, introducing the beautiful new Pixel 3. And for life at home, we designed, oops, sorry, for life at work and at play, <laughs> we're bringing the power and productivity of a desktop to a gorgeous tablet called Pixel Slate. <laughs> and for life at home, we designed a smart display so you can hear and see the info you need and manage your connected home from a single screen. Introducing Google Home Hub. <laughs> and here they are, coming up here in the pedestals for the first time seen in real life. Go ahead, you can take a couple photos if you'd like. Try not to knock them over, because if you break it, you have to buy it. Give you about 30 seconds or so. I gotta get a shot of these. These look great. Wow. Okay, all right, we can start to put them away. Don't worry, everyone, you'll get more time with them in the demo area. Are you trying to take one out of there? I would too, but please don't. <laughs> oh, I think they look great. They look great, right? Well, let's talk about the design because I think the design of this year's products are absolutely terrific. Just last month, Fast Company named Google the design company of the year for our efforts in both hardware and software design. We've seen incredible progress in material design, our adaptable open source system of guidelines, tools, and components that support the best practices of user interface design. And this has resulted in some truly beautiful evolutions of the applications you know and love. And this year's new devices fit perfectly with the rest of the family. That's due to the amazing Ivy Ross and her wonderful design team. They've really, yes. They've really pushed us to think about how technology can be designed for the way you live today. And the design world has taken notice. Over the past year, Made by Google products have won more than 45 of the design industry's top awards. Ivy's gonna give us a rare peek into her design studio and share some of the details about our team's philosophy and approach. Let's take a look. People think aesthetics is making something pretty, and it's really not. I mean, aesthetics is about igniting our senses. I think we're all craving that a little bit. What is the design language for Google? Bold and optimistic, human in our forms, in our colors, in our shapes. As technology progresses, it needs to be closer to us. 
soft circles and curves evoke something natural and familiar. How that language shows up will evolve over time. I think technology has to fit into place. It will eventually be invisible. The design challenge is to make that transition smooth and beautiful. Our job is to figure out what it feels like to hold Google in your hand. So cool. So cool. Some of the best examples of the amazing work that Ivy and her team have been doing is in the most important place in your life, your home. Fast Company named Google Home Mini the most innovative product design of 2018. And consumers love it too, as it extends access to the assistant in more places throughout the home. With Google Wi-Fi, we're using mesh networking and AI to extend your home Wi-Fi network. Google Wi-Fi is still the number one router, and it's the simplest way to make sure that your connection speed is good and your home network is well managed. You might have heard that we're bringing together Google and Nest so we can solve deeper problems in managing people's homes. The right way to do this is to start with the basics. The smart home of 2018 is too complex with siloed technologies and interfaces. Your smart home really doesn't seem too smart when you can't figure out how to turn on the lights or set your home security system. So together with Nest, we're pursuing our shared vision of a thoughtful home that isn't just smart, but it's helpful and simple enough for everyone to set up and use. Nest defined the thoughtful home with the Nest Learning Thermostat, which is the number one product in its space. And it's helped save over 25 billion kilowatt hours of energy. Nest also has the top rated products in connected security cameras, smoke alarms, and doorbells. So working together, Google and Nest can shape how these technologies come together for a more helpful, thoughtful home. To show you what that means, let me bring Dia out to talk a little bit more about the newest addition to the Google Home family. Dia? Thanks, Rick. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for being here today. Let me tell you about how we've reimagined Google for the home. Two years ago, we launched Google Home with the goal of helping you and your family simplify the hectic moments in your life. And we've seen that this is striking a chord with our users. The number of queries on Google Home has gone up by over 400% in just the last year. But now, imagine not only being able to hear a response back when you ask Google Assistant a question, but be, imagine being able to see a response back. That is the power of Google Home Hub. With Google Home Hub, we've redesigned Google's most helpful services like search, YouTube, maps, calendar, and photos, so they're easily controllable with your voice and provide glanceable help. Today, all of us use many different display devices in our homes, like phones, laptops, and even tablets. But none of these were developed with the goal of helping you and your family in your home environment. That is why we built Google Home Hub. We obsessed about what a display designed specifically for your home should do. How should it interact with you and your family? What kind of help should it provide? How should it look in any room? So we spent countless hours on the design of Hub. We incorporated soft rounded corners and premium materials, including our own custom fabrics. You can also choose from four beautiful colors to complement any room. The elegant floating display is big enough so that you can see things even from across the room, but it's small enough to fit in any space in your home. We also consciously did not put a camera on Hub so that it was comfortable to use in the private spaces of your home, like your bedroom. We wanted to make sure that Hub is not a bright glowing screen in your home. So we made sure that Hub can respond automatically to the ambient light in the room. To do this, we developed a feature called Ambient EQ. 
With ambient EQ, we take a dedicated sensor and combine it with our own imaging algorithms so that we can fine tune the brightness and color of the display. So now, Hub can respond automatically to the bright white tones of natural light that you get during the day, and then gradually shift into the oranges and yellows of your indoor lights in the evening. You can feel the magic of ambient EQ when you look at your photos on a Hub. And of course, Hub automatically turns the screen off at night. So now, no matter what time of day, which room, and even your home decor, Hub can blend seamlessly into your home. Finally, we also wanted Hub to be a communal device, one that works for everyone in your home. So we trained Hub on Google's industry-leading speech recognition technology. By using voice match, Hub is able to recognize who is speaking to it, and it's able to provide a personalized experience for each and every user in your home. Today, 85% of Google Home users are using voice match. So by now, you're probably wondering how Hub works. So let me call up Mark, one of our product managers, to show you Hub in action. Thanks, Dia. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to share with you a few examples how Hub fits into my home. Mornings are crazy for most of us, and having a little bit of help would be awesome. With Hub, I can just say, hey, Google, good morning. Good morning, Mark. The time is 9 AM. Currently in San Francisco, it's 64 and sunny. The best way to get to work by car is via US 101 South and will take 45 minutes. There are 11 entries in your calendar. By the way, remember to pick up eggs for dinner tonight. Because HEP recognized my voice, it tells me everything I need to know while I'm finishing up my cup of coffee. And in the evenings, HUB is great at helping me make dinner and relax. Google Home HUB is the best display made for the kitchen. So instead of fumbling around with your phone or the tablet while you have flowers on your hands or you're washing dishes or wearing oven mitts, you can simply use your voice to get help in the kitchen. You can set multiple timers. You can find out how many ounces are in a cup. You can even figure out what to cook for dinner tonight. My hub gives me access to a huge library of recipes, including great dishes from Tasty. Tonight, I'm going to make two of the classics, Eggs Benedict with the French 75, hashtag late night brunch. As you can see, with Hub, I can follow along step-by-step -step instructions to figure out how to make Eggs Benedict. I can even watch a video to figure out how to poach an egg. Now, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about YouTube on Hub. The YouTube experience has been optimized, so I have access to a ton of how-to videos just by using my voice. Good example is I can say, hey, Google, YouTube video, now Hub. Hey, Google, show me how okay, to carve a pumpkin. Playing how to carve Halloween pumpkins on YouTube. It's a pretty epic pumpkin. And of course, Hub is great for enjoying music as well. With YouTube music, you can easily find the perfect song, video, or artist. Hey, Google, play something brand new. All right, here's some music on YouTube. Songs all I have to do is ask, and I have instant access to the massive catalog of music and videos. By offering the ability to hear and see your music on Hub, it really brings the concert right to your home. Through December, Hub comes with six months of YouTube Premium on us, including ad-free videos and our new YouTube music streaming service. So we all know Technology can make our lives easier and more fun. But sometimes, it's really hard to disconnect and enjoy time with friends and family. Hub can help with that, too. Just put Hub into downtime mode, and it won't interact with anyone in the house except for those critical things like alarms. It's a simple step, but it makes a huge difference. We're also introducing a set of tools to provide parents with a little bit of peace of mind. With filters, 
you can ensure that everyone in the home is enjoying family-friendly content. So, no matter if you're starting off your day, if you're learning something new, or if you're just chilling at home, Hub is there to help. Back to you, Dia. Thanks a lot, Mark. As you can see, Hub can really help you simplify your home. But there's more. As Rick mentioned, we want to build a thoughtful home for our users. And where this comes to life the most is in how easy it is with Hub to set up, manage, and control your devices. You can even see the state of your entire home at a glance. It truly is the hub for your thoughtful home. So let me show you how. Today, I have a few different smart devices in my home. Smart lights, thermostat, doorbell, and even a door lock. To be able to control and manage these devices, I have to go to multiple different apps. And if my husband wants to manage and control these devices, he has to go to the same apps. We have no one place to go to to, down, uh, to get the state of our entire home. Did we forget to turn down the lights and lock the door in the living room before going to bed? With Hub, we're introducing Home View. With a swipe down from the top of the screen, you can bring up a simple dashboard. The dashboard shows you the state of your entire home at a quick glance and provides you quick access to all your devices. This has been a radically helpful addition to my home. Home view was designed to be super easy and intuitive to use with a simple tap or with your voice. You can even see things by room, so you can turn down the temperature in the bedroom and turn up the music in the living room. It's now all in one place for the very first time and easily accessible by everyone in your family. And we're providing the same level of control even if you're not near your hub. We've redesigned the Google Home app to be the mobile controller for your smart home. It has the same home view dashboard as Hub. So now you can control all your devices from any phone, even when you're not at home. Now, with Nest devices, we have all the tools in place to help take the experience of a thoughtful home to the very next level. So we made sure that Hub was deeply integrated with Nest devices, like Nest Camera, Nest Thermostat, and even Hello Doorbell. So for instance, if you're having dinner and someone happens to ring your doorbell, Hub will automatically show you who's at the front door. And you can tap a quick response or use your voice to let your guests know that you'll be right there. Many people have connected devices in their homes today, and they don't even know it. Hub can help with that. Home View lets you control over 200 million devices from over 1,000 brands, many of them in your home today. So now, with a simple tap or with your voice, you can control your Dish Hopper DVR, your Chromecast, your Vizio TV, and even your Philips Hue light bulb. With Home View, you have all the tools in place to help you build and manage your thoughtful home, whether you have a house full of connected devices like I do, or you're just getting started with your first simple smart light bulb. <clears throat> now, we've talked a lot about what Hub can do, but what about when it's not in use? We designed Hub to be the world's best photo frame so that you could relive your precious moments on Google Home Hub. We do this via a deep integration with Google Photos. Google Photos has over 1.2 billion photos and videos uploaded every single day. So now you can select any album that you've ever created or that was shared with you. And we're introducing a new feature called Live Albums. With Live Albums, you can just select the photos of people that you want to see. And what we will automatically do is create a new album with all the photos you've ever taken of those people. You, your photos also never get stale because Live Album updates automatically every time you take new pictures. So it's been really amazing. Every time I walk by Hub and see a photo of my son or husband that I've forgotten about, it brings a smile to my face. And recently, we came home from a family vacation to show our photos already displaying on Hub. Hub also makes, a perfect, uh, Hub also makes it easy to share Live Albums with loved ones. So now my parents can see photos of my son show up automatically in, in their home. Now, you also might be wondering, what about that blurry picture I took the other day? Will that show up on Hub as well? 
The answer is no. We use machine learning to only show your best photos on Hub. We automatically filter out blurry photos, underexposed photos, those random pictures of things like receipts, and even duplicate photos. Now, with Google Home Hub, you have a great way to actually relive your favorite memories. So you can pre-order Google Home Hub on the Google Store today for $149. And it's also available on October 22nd at retail locations here in the US, UK, and Australia. Google Home Hub is the perfect display to help you manage your thoughtful home and provide the help you need with a glance. Check out this video. Thank you. As I mentioned earlier, Google's been obsessed with speed and relevance of the search information we can provide. We built this incredible search engine, but back then, browsers were just too slow. So then we built Chrome, a faster, more secure browser. But users still had to use our fast browser on their old, slow PCs. They took way too long to start up, they were a hassle to keep secure, and they just weren't optimized for the web and app experiences we use today. And we knew computing could be fundamentally better. So we developed Chrome OS to represent a new vision for computing based on our core tenets of speed, simplicity, and security. Chrome OS brings together the best of Google, search, AI, and apps and services all in one place. Now, your Chromebook boots up in seconds, not minutes. It lasts all day, and it gets better over time. It keeps up with the many aspects of your life because work and play are fluid throughout the day. And that's why millions of people have used these devices in schools, homes, and businesses worldwide. Last year, Chrome OS took a big step forward with the introduction of apps from the Google Play Store, and also with the introduction of helpfulness from the Google Assistant. We tied this all together with the launch of Pixelbook, the high-performance Chromebook. Pixelbook reviews from both the press and customers have been fantastic. People especially love its beautiful, versatile design and its blazing fast speed. And today, we're sharing a new chapter for our vision for Chrome OS with the launch of Google Pixel Slate. Here's Tron to tell you a little bit more about it. Thanks, Rick. Google Pixel Slate is a completely new experience, giving you powerful productivity in a fresh mobile form, something that isn't a laptop trying to be a tablet. Because who wants a fan in their tablet? Or a tablet that's really a phone pretending to be a computer. Instead, we combine the helpful elements of all of these devices to create a modern computing experience people have been asking for. We designed Pixel Slate to be both thin and light. 
It's crafted with beautiful lines and rounded edges in a stylish midnight blue. And it has a perfectly balanced center of gravity, so it's incredibly comfortable to hold. Pixel Slate is engineered with a stunning detailed display, so sitting back to enjoy a movie is better than ever. It has 293 pixels per inch, that's 6 million pixels, for the sharpest picture in the category. When we put Pixel Slate in the hands of some of our most demanding YouTube creators, filmmakers who make movies in 8K, they raved about this display. Let's take a look at how they reacted to seeing their content on Pixel Slate for the first time. We're looking for something that draws us in personally, that excites us. As a creator, I spend a lot of time trying to just make sure our image looks the best it can be. To see the Pixel Slate representing that correctly is really awesome. It's like you're taking the glass out of the window. That's exactly how it's supposed to look. To get to this level of quality, Pixel Slate uses a custom display with low temperature polycrystal and silicon technology, which allows for a hundred times faster movement of electrons versus a standard display. As a result, it can efficiently light up a massive number of pixels. Your movies, photos, and games will be stunning in vibrant colors and brilliant resolution. Now, a brilliant display doesn't mean much without great sound. So with Pixel Slate, we've positioned the speakers on the front of the device so they can direct stereo sound towards you instead of out towards the walls or the floor. They deliver surprisingly big sound. We've also tuned our audio algorithms with a custom designed profile that gives you crisp highs and clear lows. This combination of an amazing display and dual front-firing speakers gives you the best entertainment experience you can hold in your hands. It's also a great device for cord cutters, and nothing brings this to life better than YouTube TV. We're excited to give you three months of YouTube TV with the purchase of a new Pixel Slate or Pixel Book, so you get live TV from more than 60 networks, including sports and local news. Now, you heard Rick talk earlier about our deep history in imaging and computational photography. We're bringing some of that same innovative engineering to Pixel Slate's eight megapixel front-facing and rear-facing cameras. Both cameras incorporate our machine learning algorithms so you can take great photos, including portrait mode. We've also designed the front-facing camera to be perfect for video chat. It has a wide-angle lens, so you can fit everyone in the frame, and a sensor with larger pixels, which allows for excellent low-light performance. Pixel Slate represents a new chapter for Chrome OS. Let me show you how we've reimagined it for this new type of device. The UI is now optimized to be simple and easy to use on a touchscreen. It's a Chrome OS experience that's meant to be held in your hands. And at the same time, it gives you a full desktop experience, not one designed for a phone. You can work the way that you're used to working. You can even run developer tools and full-powered Linux applications. Check out the reconfigured launcher. Instead of hunting for the app you need, machine learning customizes the launcher just for you, suggesting the apps that you're most likely looking for. It's your own personal Google, right at your fingertips. You can easily multitask with features like split screen, which lets you seamlessly shift between work and play. And now with Pixel Slate, the Google Assistant is even more deeply integrated within Chrome OS. Simply use your voice, and the Assistant can help you find a restaurant, dictate an email, or play your favorite show. Another helpful feature is Family Link. This helps you set digital ground rules for your family and gives you more control over how and when your devices are used. And when it's time to settle in for the night, 
Our new Do Not Disturb and Nightlight features help you turn, tune out distractions and gently adjust the color temperature of your display to help you wind down. Now, as you'd expect from us, Pixel Slate provides really powerful, hassle-free security. Virus protection is built in. The OS updates in the background, so you always have the latest security and features without any annoying interruptions. Pixel Slate also includes a Titan security chip, so your information, device passwords, and operating system are protected on your device. And to eliminate the fuss of typing your password, Pixel Slate's power button doubles as a fingerprint sensor, so you can unlock it just as quickly and securely as you do your Pixel phone. Just touch the top and you're good to go. All of these amazing new experiences on Chrome OS truly make Pixel Slate a perfect device for play and work. But a true desktop experience demands a great keyboard. So we created the Pixel Slate keyboard, the perfect companion to Pixel Slate. The keyboard connects to Pixel Slate in a snap. No pairing or charging needed. Just connect it and start typing. You love the way the Pixel Slate keyboard feels. Last year, TechCrunch said Pixelbook has the most, most satisfying keyboard to type on I've ever experienced. So we took everything great about that keyboard and put it in a folio. Its full-size backlit keyboard is incredibly comfortable to type on. The rounded hush keys are soft and quiet, so you won't be that person with a loud clackety keyboard. And the full-featured trackpad works just like you're used to. The folio is infinitely adjustable, so you can comfortably use it at any angle you'd like. Use it at your desk, on a plane, or at your kitchen table. And when you're done with work, it turns into a slim, protective case that you can take anywhere. Whether you're using Pixel Slate with or without the keyboard, there's a universe of apps to help you do more. G Suite is amazing on Pixel Slate. Our powerful productivity tools are used by more than a billion people worldwide. And people spend an incredible 74% of their time in these apps working together. With docs, sheets, and slides, you can collaborate and create like never before. Pixel Slate also uses the full desktop Chrome browser, so you'll never be limited by the mobile version of a site. And you can take complete advantage of the rich ecosystem of extensions and open as many tabs as you need to get work done. There are also millions of apps in the Google Play Store, from productivity to fitness to games and entertainment. We're continuing to work closely with Adobe and are pleased to launch the all-new Adobe Acrobat on Pixel Slate. It's a great example of how developers are optimizing their apps for Chrome OS. It lets you edit PDFs with precision, quickly fill out forms, and sign and annotate documents using the Pixelbook pen. We also have new apps launching focused on helping you stay healthy. One that I'm really excited about is Peloton, because it'll help me keep up, keep up with my workout even when I'm away from my bike. And when it's time to relax, enjoy your favorite shows on Netflix or experience millions of worlds with Roblox. So that's Pixel Slate, powered by the reimagined Chrome OS. It's designed to be as versatile as you are, with a desktop operating system, a full keyboard and trackpad, a brilliant display, and the mobility and app support of a tablet. Pixel Slate comes in several configurations, starting at $599. Pixel Slate Keyboard is $199, and Pixelbook Pen, now in matching Midnight Blue, is $99. All three will be available later this year on the Google Store and at major retailers in the US, Canada, and the UK. Pixel Slate is truly a no-compromise way to work and play. Let's take one final look at it before I go.
finally, it's time to talk about phones. <laughs> Google Pixel 3 is designed from the inside out to be the smartest, most useful device in your life. It's a phone that can answer itself, a camera that won't miss a shot, and it's a whole new experience when it's charging. Pixel 3 was built with exceptionally beautiful and thoughtful design choices. It feels great to the touch and light in your hand. The matte finish on the all-glass back is the first of its kind. It carries over our iconic two-tone design while providing a beautiful, silky texture that helps avoid fingerprints. We developed a new etching process that allows for both matte and glossy textures on the same piece of curved glass with smooth lines and seamless transitions. Pixel 3 comes in three colors, just black, clearly white, and a new color, which is not pink. The new Pixel comes in two display sizes, the 5.5 inch Pixel 3 and the 6.3 inch Pixel 3 XL. Both of them share the same features, but we know users who want a bigger phone really want a bigger screen. So we've designed Pixel 3 XL's screen to extend all the way to the upper corners giving users an edge-to-edge -edge viewing experience with some extra, extra useful space at the top. The flexible OLED is the best pixel display ever. The new adaptive color profile provides a bright, vibrant viewing experience from any angle and in any lighting. Both phones have bigger screens than last year's pixel and a larger screen-to-body ratio. They feel smaller and more comfortable to hold. Our front-firing stereo speakers are 40% louder and richer than last year, perfect for a video call or for playing music by the pool. The custom sound profile was developed for Pixel 3 by a Grammy-winning music producer for stunning volume and clarity. To get the most out of this incredible audio experience, Pixel 3 is the first phone that ships with the new YouTube music streaming experience. And we're giving it to Pixel, Pixel owners on us for six months. Between the design, the display, and the powerful speakers, you'll love how Pixel 3 looks and sounds. Everyone raves about the Pixel camera. And today, the smartest camera gets even better with the Pixel 3. It's so good, even professional photographers are shooting with it. We're excited to announce a new partnership with one of the most celebrated photographers of our time, Annie Leibovitz. For her latest project, she's using Pixel 3 to take photos as she travels around the country, capturing portraits of inspiring people and places. It's the first time that Annie has officially partnered with any camera, and we can't wait to unveil the series. Now, it's no accident that Pixel's camera is ahead of the curve. It's a true end-to-end -end combination of our AI, software, and hardware. We're building on Google's deep expertise in computational photography. Perhaps the most obvious way it comes to life is with HDR+. When we introduced zero shutter lag HDR+, on the first Pixel, it blew away traditional HDR methods, and we're still the only ones to use this method. When you press the shutter, Pixel captures a burst of short, several short exposures. We combine the images algorithmically to create an image that is brighter, more detailed, and more colorful. This technology is generations ahead of other smartphones. And all of this is happening on device. Pixel Visual Core is our custom-designed imaging chip that takes complex imaging and data crunching power out of our data centers and puts it on your phone. We built Pixel Visual Core into Pixel 3, making the camera even faster and smarter to power new computationally intensive features. No matter how great your camera is at capturing the finest details and re reproducing the, the colors, you can still miss the perfect shot if you don't hit the shutter at exactly the right moment. Top Shot solves that problem. Let's check it out. All right, come on, girls, get together. Three, two, one. Oh, oh come on, everybody. Let me try again. Ready? Go, Let go, me go. Try. Yeah. What? 
Pixel 3's camera is smart enough to know a good photo when it sees it. Our machine learning is trained by analyzing millions of images. So knows you want to see smiles instead of sneezes, photos where everyone in the group has their eyes open, and the perfect moment of shock at a surprise party. Top Shot automatically captures alternate shots in HDR+. So if your timing wasn't perfect, it'll suggest a better one. You can also scroll through the alternates and save one of those instead. And then there's Super Res Zoom. Anyone who's tried to take a photo at a concert knows that phone cameras have terrible zoom. Instead of shooting a grainy photo, Pixel 3 shoots a burst of photos, each a bit different, taking advantage of the natural tiny movements of your hand. And you can guess what happens next. We run the variations through a merging algorithm to create a beautiful zoomed in shot so you can get closer to the details and frame your shot the way you want. This technique of merging slightly different photos for higher resolution has been used in advanced astronomy research to surface the image of Mars, to image the surface of Mars. Pixel 3 puts this technology into a device you can hold in your hand. Another feature that we're really excited about is night sight. Life's best moments aren't always perfectly lit. A party, a campfire with your friends, one last shot before the bar closes. The typical solution for low light settings is the flash, which makes a big scene, blinds your friends, and leaves you with an unnatural looking photo with uneven exposures and shadows. Night sight works so well, you'll never use your flash again. Let's take a look. In extreme low light, we turn to machine learning to choose the right colors based on the content of the image. These shots are completely untouched. Night sight makes Pixel the best low light smartphone camera. It's coming next month to Pixel 3 and our other Pixels as well. You might have noticed the second camera on the front of the phone. Let's see what it does. Are you ready? Let's take a selfie. Here we go. Wait. Move your head towards mine. Good over, good over. My arms are not long enough, you guys. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Get in, get in. Ah! We're living on the edge. Boys, we got to back up. Just a little bit. Back up. Back up. Back up. Stay in the frame. Stay in the frame. Willow, just stay in the frame. Guess where I am. Uh. Oh! Oh, did you see that? Move your arm. We're not going to fit. Get We're not going to both fit. Just move your arm. Move your arm! Oh, just move it over! Hey, Mitch, could you uh, scooch in? I'm trying to take a selfie. Oh, wait. One sec. Oh. All right. Three, two, one. Pixel users tend to get drafted as the official photographer, including for group selfies, and we want to help them be great at their job. So we added a second camera on the front that captures 184% more of the scene than iPhone XS. Now you can fit everyone in the shot without a selfie stick or unusually long arms like mine. <laughs> just zoom out. The difference is striking. You aren't just getting more people in the frame. You're getting more details, more scenery, more of a story. For photos and selfies with even more story, we've got you covered. We've evolved AR stickers to what we now call Playground and built it into both the front and rear cameras. We've got lots of new content and characters, including the Avengers, in celebration of Marvel Studios' 10-year anniversary. These characters are rendered to feel lifelike in the scene, and they even interact with each other. Characters can now also respond to your actions and facial expressions. 
They look like they're really in the scene with you. Playground is launching on Pixel 3 and will be rolled out to Pixel 1 and 2 soon with more content on the way. And of course, Pixel 3's camera is for so much more than taking pictures. Last year, we introduced Google Lens, which helps, which helps you do more with your camera with what you see. This year, we integrated Google Lens directly into the Pixel 3 camera. Point it at a takeout menu, and Lens will pull out the phone number to call. Point it at a movie poster to click through to the URL. Lens is now able to work instantly in the camera and on device for some of the most common actions, even without a data connection. This is only possible by combining Pixel Visual Core with our years of work in search and computer vision. Being able to search the world around you is the next logical step in organizing the world's information and making it more useful for people. And we've been doing that in some fun new ways, like with style search and lens. So now when you're wear your friend's wearing a cool new pair of sunglasses or you see some shoes you like in a magazine, you can use lens to find them online and browse similar styles. It's one more way we're integrating our AI, software, and hardware to create the best end-to-end -end camera experience. There are a lot of brilliant new superpowers coming in Pixel 3's camera, but we didn't have time to get through them all. I'm sure you don't want to sit through a two-hour keynote. So here's a quick list of some of the other features you'll see in our demo area later. Photo booth mode automatically snaps photos with a smile or when you make a funny face. No shutter button needed. With motion autofocus, just tap on people, puppies, or anything else that won't hold still, and they'll stay in focus as they move around the frame. We made a few enhancements to portrait mode. You can edit the depth of field in a portrait. You can also change the focal subject of the photo or make the color pop. And one of the best aspects of Pixel 3 is free unlimited storage at original quality. You'll never have to worry about storing, syncing, or finding your photos. Pixel 3's camera is the best end-to-end -end photography experience ever on a smartphone. We can't wait for you to try it. So what about when you're not taking photos? We designed Pixel 3 to take things off your plate so you can spend more time enjoying the moment and looking at the world instead of looking at your phone. As Rick mentioned earlier, our new Google Assistant feature, powered by Duplex technology, is able to help users with real-world tasks over the phone, like calling a restaurant to book a table. Pixel phones will be the first to get this Google Assistant feature when it rolls out city by city this month. Next month. One of these months. Next month. So stay tuned for details. <laughs> and we're going even further to help you with phone calls with our new call screen feature. Let's say you're at dinner with friends or in a meeting at work, and a call comes in. It could be something important, or it could be an offer for a free cruise. When you get that call, and you can't or don't want to pick up, just tap the screen call button, and your phone will answer for you and ask who's calling and why. As you can see here, the conversation is transcribed in real time on your screen. You can decide whether to pick up, send a quick reply, or mark the call spam. You'll never have to talk to another telemarketer. This all happens on device, powered by Google's AI. Call screen launches today with Pixel 3 in the US and comes to the entire Pixel family next month. And we all know what it's like to be overwhelmed by notifications. Sometimes you just want to disconnect entirely. So we've developed a feature we call Flip to Shush, an easy gesture to minimize distractions. Just turn your phone upside down on the table, and your Pixel will take the hint and mute sounds and notifications so you can have a quiet dinner with friends or spend some time with your family. And finally, Pixel 3 includes our new Titan security chip. As Rick said earlier, Titan is a big step forward in how we safeguard our users' data with on-device protection for login credentials, disk encryption, app data, and the integrity of the operating system. We have one last thing to show you. What if your phone could provide a totally different experience when it's charging. We're excited to introduce the smartest wireless charger ever, the new Pixel Stand. As a wireless charger, Pixel Stand is best in class. It charges your Pixel 3 super fast, even through cases. 
But Pixel Stand isn't just a charger. It changes the way you interact with your phone, thanks to the Google Assistant. When you dock your phone, the UI adjusts to be easily glanceable from across the room. You can control it with your voice or the one-touch suggestions on the display. In the morning, your Pixel 3 is a more thoughtful alarm clock. The screen will slowly brighten before your alarm goes off, so you can wake up more gently. And with help from the assistant, it knows your morning routine, the weather, and can easily answer your questions, similar to Google Home. Play your music on Pixel's incre incredible front-firing stereo speakers, and the cover art is displayed on the screen. Pixel Stand also turns your Pixel 3 into a helpful component of your thoughtful home. You can easily control your connected devices around the house, and with Nest Hello, you can see who's at the door on your Pixel 3 screen. When it's not busy with other tasks, your Pixel 3 becomes a photo frame that delights you with automatically curated memories from your Google Photos library. Again, similar to the Google Home Hub experience you saw earlier. Pixel Stand transforms your Pixel 3, so you can get a more visual, helpful experience from your phone. It's the best way to wirelessly charge your Pixel or any Qi-compatible device. Pixel 3 is available for pre-order now, starting at $799. And Pixel Stand is $79. Pixel 3 will arrive on October 18th in the US through Verizon and unlocked on the Google Store and Project Fi. On November 1st, it will be available in 12 more markets, including four new ones this year, France, Ireland, Japan, and Taiwan. And we also have a large selection of cases and accessories available from both Google and our partners. Check them out on the Google Store today. So that's the new Pixel 3. It's designed from the inside out to be the smartest, most helpful device in your life. It's a phone that can answer itself, a camera that won't miss a shot, and a helpful assistant even when it's charging. Before Rick comes back up, enjoy this short film shot entirely on Pixel 3 by the amazing Terrence Malick. I heard about this frog. It's a very tiny frog, but it's also very special. So there they are, the newest members of this year's Made by Google family. We're taking an end-to-end -end approach to consumer technology that merges our most innovative AI with intuitive software and powerful hardware. Made by Google devices empower people to do more with their day so they have to do less with their tech, and they can focus on what matters most. We've designed them from the inside out to give you your own personal Google anticipating your needs, taking things off your plate. You got a first look at Titan security and how it's integrated into our mobile hardware for powerful protection in a simplified experience. And you've also seen how our approach to digital well-being is woven throughout the whole portfolio, from call screen to flip to shush, ambient EQ and family link. We're taking our users' well-being very seriously. With Pixel Slate, We've built a Chrome OS device for the way you work and play today. It's a powerful workstation at the office, and it's a home theater you can hold in your hands. With Pixel 3, we've built the first phone that can answer the phone. 
And we've also taken the world's best smartphone camera and made it even better. With Google Home Hub, we've built a radically helpful smart display, which lays the foundation for the truly thoughtful home. There's a whole lot more to these devices, and we're really excited for you to see that for yourselves in our demo area downstairs. For those of you on the live stream, please stick around to see our products and more in-depth demos online. And also, head over to our fresh new online store at this address behind me for full details, pricing, and availability. Really appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you very much. Have a great day. recipes.